I mean, very clearly deserve to be in the tournament and with the, the way that they played in round one. And uh, I think it's going to be a very challenging matchup for us on Saturday. We are just one day away from the Bobcats opening playoff game as they take on Albany in the second round. And Montana State has to watch out for Great Dane's redshirt freshman quarterback, Jeff Undercuffler, who leads the FCS in touchdown passes this season with 39. He's definitely uh, shown some flashes of, uh, of greatness. Um, so, you know, we're going to have to get, get in his head like every other quarterback. Um, if we can uh, get to him, then I think it'll throw their offense off. MSU is going to throw a lot of trickery in the run game at U Albany, and the Danes are emphasizing fundamentals to counter it. Yeah, I always tell the guys, don't get bored doing the right thing. Sometimes they want to try to jump and make a play, but we've got to fit gaps, tackle well, and uh, try to frustrate them, understanding they're going to get yards and they're going to make some plays. Every time an East Coast team comes to visit Montana, people always ask the question if they can handle the elements. Albany sits at roughly 100 feet of elevation, but Jeff Choate isn't focused on that factor. I think all that stuff's overblown. I mean, I do. I think you're going to be here for less than 24 hours. I mean, I guess they're getting here on Thursday, so maybe a whopping 36 hours. I don't think that's time for your body to get all jacked up on the elevation thing. So this is about the two teams between the white lines.